low. Um, this is LEGO Nick 11 here, and um, this is basically going to be my new channel. And uh, yeah, this was originally my dad's, but he doesn't use it anymore, or just hasn't used it at all. So I just kind of took advantage of the fact and decided to use it. Um, the reason for this, and the reason why I'm not using my account, is because it won't let me log on. So, what the hell are you gonna do? And that's kind of, that's my excuse for why I haven't made a YouTube video in years? Maybe? Yeah. I mean, the last, the last decent video that I made was that video of me and, uh, Video Games 2201 playing Halo. Uh, Halo 3. So, yeah. But things are gonna change now every weekend. I'm gonna be doing a new video, so, yeah. Um, so I'm actually going to do a review in this video. And, um, I haven't really planned out what I was going to do. So, um, already we're being unprofessional. But, you know, you get that sometimes, so. Um, look at my shirt, by the way. It's really nice. And yeah, I'm not. I'm not that fat. I'm just stretching it. But you can see it's. It's like all the Star Wars right there. All the core Star Wars characters, and they're uh, kind of rocking out there. So pretty nice. I'm wearing wearing my pajamas. Pretty cool. Um, my voice. If you remember any of my original videos. Um, I sounded like a two-year-old, but uh, I'm like 15 now, so, you know, my voice has evolved much like a Pokemon. I hate Pokemon. It's, it's the gayest of the gay, and I don't mean to use the word gay in a, a, uh, a, uh, what's the word? I forgot. In a bad way, let's just say that. Mm. Alright, so I guess I'll do a review on a Power of the Force 2 figure. And it's going to be one of my favorites from the whole Star Wars line of figures. It's right here. There. There. My hand disappeared. But you, you know what? Sometimes, when life gives you lemons, your hand gon' disappear. So, that made absolutely no sense. Just bear with me now, okay? Just kinda... I regret opening the door of that discussion, but... It happens. It happens. Alright, so... Ah! I seriously just hurt my hand. Okay, that's fine. Oh, my, my shelving unit is being a pain in the ass. Yeah. So, yeah, alright, yeah, whatever. So, first I'll show you the packaging. This is a nice, nice figure, nice figure. So, yeah, yeah, here it is. Mm -hmm. It's Power of the Force 2. It says Power of the Force. These old figures, they didn't say Power of the Force 2, but they did, they, they said Power of the Force. The Power of the Force like, 1 figures, it started with, like, when Kenner made the original vintage figures, when they were going to end that line and start making the more bulkier figures, and there was a reason for that, by the way, because the bulkier look was popular with, uh, with boys back then. Um, I guess little boys, little children, liked the idea of having bulked up bodybuilder steroid Han Solo, so, but, um, Power of the Force started at the end of the vintage line, and threw out, and then it, we got, and, and those cards, if you recognize them in a comic store or something, those are the cards that look exactly like this, but with a red lightsaber in the background, and this one, as you can see, has a green one, and that's because it's Power of the Force 2. And as you can see there at the bottom, it says Collection 3. Can't really see that. But, um, it's Collection 3 and it's blue, and it also comes with a slide thing, projector, 
you put it up to the light or you put it in a projector and you can see the movie scene. I'm not going to take it out, it's just the scene when Luke takes off Vader's helmet. So, uh, what else? And then you see here, the numbers at the bottom, they end in, uh, they end in zero, zero. So that means that this is, this is the first one. So, um, the, the value of the figure increases as the two last numbers decrease. Um, so if you have like, so this is 550630.00, so that means this is the first one. Um, so, pretty nice. And then at the top it's, it just says Kinder Collection. So, I don't want to make this too long, so I'm just going to get, I'm going to go straight into the view. Put that there. Okay. So, here's the figure. This is Darth Vader with the two-piece removable helmet, lightsaber, and hand. So this is him without his helmet. I don't know how well you can see that, but the detail on this guy is really good for that time period. Um, just like the scars on the back of his head and on his face, it really, really looks like Sebastian Shaw. And it really looks like, uh, like it, like he did the movie. Um, the detail, especially like on on the back of his neck, is really good. And they did give him a plastic cape, which I'm not a big fan of, but at least they didn't make it look like it was like blowing in the wind or something, it's just like a straight down cape, um, which I like. And it is removable. It's, you know, one of those typical capes, it just kind of clamps onto the back of his neck. I'll give you a better look at the detail on his neck. And uh, his chest apparatus thing, and his chest uh, armor, and just the overall detail, and then he's got the secondary cape kind of thing. So you put his it back on. I'm not going to remove his hand, but basically that's for reenacting that scene. His lightsaber is a very uh, a very dull, clear red color, and then and then the uh, the entire hilt the, the entire hilt is uh, black, with some red actually shining through. Kind of odd. Um, I guess they didn't put enough enough paint on it or whatever, but it's not really a big deal. And then the helmet itself has excellent detail on it. I don't know how well you can see that because it's black. Um, nothing on the inside, but the outside lo really looks like Darth Vader, and he looks very um, intimidating. Intimidating with his helmet on. So obviously his articulation is typical of that era. He's just got the swivel head, swivel shoulders, swivel waist, and swivel hips, and that's it. And he's got really nice detail overall. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this figure because he's really cool and uh, one of my favorites. So, um, so yeah. Um, keep an eye out for my other videos and enjoy your lives.